what is up YouTube it's your boy and I actually recorded this intro after I made the original video so you will see the light difference but today we're gonna be checking out what's on my iPhone uh, Let's jump straight into it. They say I got an ego, big kid, it irrelevant. But here he is, they hear that's rocking a crown anyway. So, the first thing you're obviously going to see is my home screen, and you'll realize there's nothing on it because I'm trying to go for like a minimal look. Even the background is something I made in Photoshop, like it was just something where I just dropped like a black color on top so it basically have nothing on it so swiping from the home screen to the left you'll see that the only widget that i have on this side is basically my google calendar everything is color coded so but there's two constants right now the red means it was stuff that it's basically work stuff and if it's yellow it means it's someone's birthday so everything else would basically fall under a certain category from there but those are the two constants that i use right now so the other widget that i use is widget smith which can also be stacked and by stacked i mean you can layer widgets on top of other widgets so for instance in my case when you swipe up you'll see that there's a nike run club app or widget in this case uh, but I haven't started, like I recently downloaded this, um, so yeah, it's basically stacked like that, but I like keeping it on uh, the calendar because, first of all, it gives me all the info that I want, plus it goes with like the whole home screen thing of just it being black and whatever, so yeah, I don't have any app folders created on my phone because I come from an Android system where I basically used to get all my apps from one place and that would be the app tree or I don't know what you call it. But yeah, since iPhone decided to add that to the thing, that's basically where I get all my apps now. So basically these are all the apps that I have on my phone, but I'll just start from the, I'll just use the folders as they are, but if you wanted to look at them from A to Z, you just swipe down a little bit like that and then all the apps would be listed. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and then all the apps would be listed like, like that basically. But I'll just do it in the folders just to make things easier for myself and for editing purposes. First folder we're going to look at is information and reading, which is basically uh, Reddit and the weather app. Reddit is just an app that I use for news purposes. Like the whole GameStop short squeeze thing came from the community from Reddit, uh, a community that I actually follow. Let me just see if I can find their Wall Street bits. Uh, yeah, so these people are the ones that basically cause that whole GameStop whatever thing that's happening in the world right now. And then the next section is basically travel. Uh, in travel I have Airbnb, Google Maps, Uber and Vault. Um, those are basically self-explanatory apps that everybody should know what those are right now. In other I have OLX and OLX is basically the eBay of South Africa, you know. So you basically come here, let's say you're looking for an iPhone. You search and then it'll give you the oh you can search specific thing that you want but it'll give you the location of where you want to buy like for this case uh, let's say I wanted a, a white iPhone XR I would click on this and then you see it gives you all details that you need where you're gonna find or the seller and then obviously it'll give you two options to chat or make an offer but to some users it actually gives you like a call option so some people you can call directly to be like Yo, I wanna buy your phone, like, you know. But yeah, it's basically the eBay of South Africa if you care about stuff like that. And then the two educational apps I have is Grasshopper and Rosetta Stone. Grasshopper is an app that I use for coding bases. Like, I have a background in IT, and that's what I studied in varsity. I have this thing of knowing how to code, like I can read code, but I can't write it anymore. I don't know why, but I use this app every now and then to just, you know, get back to my roots I want to say so basically it's just a it's like puzzle solving like they give you the example of what you need to do and then from there you have to pick up the code in order to make the program work and that's basically how that works and then Rosetta Stone is a language based app which I'm using to currently try and study I'm not study Japanese but I'm trying to learn it because Japan is one of those places that I actually want to visit uh, I use this like there's other apps like Duolingo I think I forgot what else there is but I just picked um, Rosetta Stone because one of the other YouTubers that I watch uh, Lewis Mora he was he basically vouched for this so I, I started using it because of him and then in the health and fitness, this is home workouts, I have night run club, and then there's the health uh, app. Well, there's nothing special about these, these are just home workouts, you know. 
like it's locked down the gyms are closed so this is what we try this is what we're doing to try and stay in shape okay and then we have the shopping and food section and i'm gonna just list off all the restaurant apps like these are just the restaurants there's the Venez, fish Aways, mcdonald's uh mug and bean and the steers app but those are just basically like the restaurant apps like if you have loyalty points stuff like that or you know like special offers that they want to offer you on their specific apps like for example with the mcdonald's app you just open it with the mcdonald's app they actually have a deals uh, tab down here where you could basically redeem items at, at reduced cost basically like these are basically the specials they have on the app right now so what you would do is you would usually take this to like the counter or one of those self-help kit or machine things um you click on the option that you want in this case as you can see i'm recording but you would then press redeem and then the uh, qr code would show up on your phone and then you just scan it on that thing and then basically that's how you redeem and then you know instead of buying like a big mac for I don't know is it 40 right now you could probably possibly get it for like 30 because of the app you get what i'm saying and then i have mr d foods and over uber eats those are the two delivery things i use the two delivery apps i use and then take a lot it's not a food one but it actually it's it's the amazon of south africa if you want to label it that this is the app that i use mostly to like buy my my tech stuff like if it's cheaper on amazon i'll buy it on amazon but most of the time i find the stuff i need on take a lot because it's cheaper and obviously you get free delivery when it when you get to like a certain price you know what i'm saying let's go to my game section uh the games that i have on my phone among us because i mean it was popular as like everybody played among us uh last year so obviously me and my friends jumped on it i should actually remove this app since i have it on my desktop like I have it on Steam, so I don't need it on my phone anymore. Um, and then I have Brain Test, Call of Duty, Soccer. This this is actually one of the dumbest games I have, but you know it keeps me busy when I'm when I'm in town and stuff. So all you do basically is just swipe to where you want the ball to go, and okay, like I got defended right there. That's stupid. But this is one of those one-handed games you can play just to past time basically and then the next app is swipe fight it's also like a one-handed fighting game so basically you fight by swiping up down and stuff like that like but i think down is to ooh, get out of here so basically down is just to dodge and then basically yeah i just won uh and then i have wild rift which is the mobile version for League of Legends. And then to my productivity and finance apps, <laughs> you can see that there's a lot. Now, the ClickUp app is basically a productivity app that I feel like everybody should be using. It replaces Notion for me, because I know some people have Notion, like people live off of Notion. Like ClickUp is basically Notion plus more. It's like a combination of Asana, uh, Monday.com, like a lot of these apps that get sold separately by different name like click up is basically a summary of all of these apps into one plus the, the major selling point about this is that it's free i can't really cover it right now but trust me if you do your research about this app and then the other product productivity apps you'd realize like this app actually does a lot easy equities is basically uh the robin hood for americans who are watching this or anybody else who's watching this but yeah you basically buy stocks on this app so this app is basically one that i use to track uh load shedding in our area so you basically just come down here pick a your suburb and whatever and then so where this smiley face guy is where it says not load shedding it'll tell you the stage of load shedding if you have load shedding in your area and then you just click on your location and then from there you can check which stage it is so if it was like stage two load shedding you'd see like the electricity would go off around six until half was eight in your area and for the people who don't know what load shedding is it's just uh basically a blackout it's basically when your country when the country decides like no this part of the country doesn't have electricity for this amount of hours or you know what i mean that's basically what load shedding is it happens every now and then so yeah we got used to it we even have apps for it now i mean so we got pretty used to it last pass i use that as my password manager i have notes paypal i should actually get paypal for business um and then i have reminders share it oh i have shared because i still use a pc and then the creativity folder 
There is the camera, camera connect. I use this app to basically uh, control my camera from the phone. And then there's clips. Um, basically this app, I use it for my Memoji. I just use it so I can use my Memoji more. So, you know, stuff like that. And then there's the later app. This is basically an Instagram scheduler app. Uh, you can use Anum or Planoly if you want. As you can see, I also still have Planoly because uh, that's where I moved from. Like, Planoly is just one of those, like I said, it's it's just there to like organize my Instagram and stuff. And then we have Lens Distortions, which is a photo editing app. Um, as you can see, I was just testing it out here. My favorite photo editing app though will be Lightroom. I use this all the time. So the next app is Spark Camera. Now this app is basically one that I use for a lot. I, I try to use it a lot for my Instagram post. So basically how this works is I would use this app to try and make creative content. Like for instance, I would, let's say I would be speaking like this, whatever, whatever and then I would swipe up, let go. And then you will notice that it recorded a two second video, right? And then maybe let's say I switch the camera and I start from here. And then I just swipe up and start recording again. And then I'm like, that's my camera. Bam, I let go again. Uh, you'll realize like there's two clips now that I've been stitched together. And if you play the speaking like this, whatever, whatever, and then I'll swipe up and start recording again. And then I just saw me do it live. So that's how easy it is to use that app. I try to do that instead of like posting stories like every other person where you just, you know, you hold in your button, person talks, and then you do whatever. Oh, that's what I'm planning to do with this app. So in the utilities app, uh, there's nothing of interest in here. Um, Meteor is basically uh, internet testing app. And then my socials, uh, which is the last folder. <laughs> I don't really use Twitter that much. Uh, Telegram, I use it literally to contact one person, which is my drone guy. My chatting app of choice is now Signal. Uh, like I said, I got rid of WhatsApp because of their new terms of service. So I choose to use Signal now over that. And then Instagram, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. As you can see, the boy is still a bit shaky, but at least my numbers make sense, you know. It's like I have 700 followers there, I have 700 subscribers here, so. And then the last app that I'm going to look at is Clubhouse. Now, Clubhouse is an invite only app, like, not a lot of people are in here, like, you know, it's not like an app you can just download and start using, like, you have to be invited to use it, and by chance, I, I'm lucky enough to be invited to this. Um, this app basically is like a community of creators and businessmen and whatever, like, you find, you like, there's actually rooms where you can find literal celebrities, and there's actually, like, options where you can, like, lift your hand and whatever, and they can make you a speaker, and you can basically be talking to your favorite celeb or whoever but you shouldn't use this app to be talking to celebs or whatever you know you should be using this as a growth platform because that's what it is the the whole purpose of this is for creatives and whoever like big these people to like try and help you like realize the bigger picture and stuff like that so if you ever get the chance to get invited to trap house honestly like don't play with that don't play with that like use that thing as much as you can and basically that's all the stuff that i have on my phone anyway guys that's what i have on my iphone i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give it a like uh let's reach for the stars and get 11 likes this time on this video uh yeah uh catch you guys in the next one peace